Check this out. How cool is that? What's up guys, welcome back. Before I start today's video, I first and foremost, I just wanna say what's up. I hope everybody's staying safe, especially uh, to any viewers watching in Italy. I know it's tough right now, y'all are on lockdown, so keep yourselves busy. Uh, this week, I'm gonna try my best to upload a video every single day, give you guys some form of entertainment uh, while you're sat indoors. It's a, it's a scary time for a lot of you, and I know a lot of you are stressed out, whether it's about work or health or family. I'm just hopefully here to relieve some of that tension. Hopefully you guys find some form of value in this type of entertainment, and it helps you cope with whatever you're going through right now. Right now, myself, you know, I just got back from a bunch of trips, so I self-quarantined myself for 14 days. I'm here alone at the office. I told the boys to stay home. Welcome back. It feels good to be back in the office. I have been traveling quite a bit. We're not gonna be talking about anything other than playing cards. My friend Bao, who was here last week, uh, left me a couple decks from his friends, and we're gonna be featuring those, and the only reason is because I think they're quite unique. This being one of them. This will be the first deck we take a look at. This is by Kevin Yu. He did a Kickstarter, which is already uh, way overfunded, but if you guys guys want to cop it for yourself, I'll leave the link below. I'm not paid to, to do any of this, but I do think it's cool that we look at some uh, unique decks. I hate that I have to say that every time I think a product's cool, but there it is. So here are here are the two decks we're going to be looking at. So this project is known as the Trident and Sword playing card. They're already at $214,000 funded with 2,400 backers. Uh, that's insane. It just goes to show you the power of networking and crowdfunding platforms. I think he also did the Lunar and moon playing cards which had the same type of uh feel and look to them i mean they open like this so we're gonna go ahead and look at that man that is rad i mean that is just sick to anybody whether you're a card collector or not and that's the back of it there so it unfolds and folds neatly what's nice about that too is that it's a great display you can actually stand that up on a desk and it can just sit there like that which i think is really cool another cool feature i noticed was there is this card right here and this card if you have a look closely it kind of plays the background right so you can you can change that for whatever you want but this this uh particular one has a really cool design on it which is embossed as well let's go ahead and have a look at the cards Ooh, so cool just so satisfying even to just oh uspcc there you go that's a nice surprise let me go ahead and open this up for you and this is the back design so it's got that black colorway heavy on the ink which means Actually not too bad, but normally a little bit. Some of you may know, not my favorite. I don't like the black all the way to the edges just because if you, you ding them or nick them, you're gonna be able to see that really clearly. However, it does fit the, the presentation style of this deck. So you have the jokers here, which look like these. On the trident deck, you also have the Poseidon ace. So these spades kind of look like this. A cool back design going on there. Don't die. Uh, I suppose this is all has to do with uh, Greek mythology here. More of a display deck, in my opinion, not a deck that's necessarily great for magic because telling the difference between the jack and queen here is going to be uh, like here. We're going to turn your jack into a queen. You're like, same card twice? Maybe? I don't know. The jack, queen, and king of the other suits, they're all different. They're all individually designed. Now you got the queen of spades here, which seems to have like a little bit of a reveal holding three uh, single diamonds. And then you get into the ad cards here. You have just basics, uh, basic ad cards, which tell you a little bit more about the deck. So as far as the deck goes itself, I mean, the feel, if it's USPCC, they handle really well. No issue there. I guess the issue would be more of what are these for? Are they for cardistry? Uh, they could be, again, but they're a little dark for my liking if you're going to use them for cardistry or magic. I think more of a display deck more than anything else. I do, however, like this little this little card here. I think that's really pretty and look great on photos as well. That's the Trident deck. This one, I believe, is sold out. So are those magnets on the inside that are locking this? Oh, there is. So there is this little magnetic so it doesn't stay open now. There is a nice little magnetic clasp there. And the layers on that are really beautiful. This is what they're selling here. They're not necessarily selling you a, a deck of cards that you can go out and play with. They're selling you this, the box. And then, I mean, for that, for any collector, I think it's great. Sword playing cards, which are uh, still available according to their Kickstarter. Here are these ones ready. Ooh, look at that. So instead of the, uh, the bronze foil here, we've got some silver and blue foil, which is really pretty. We got that sword. Uh, which is mirrored on the back here. And that's really cool. Looks great. Just that is so satisfying. Imagine being like, oh, I'm gonna show you a card trick, hold on. 
<laughs> Again, we have one of those cool ad cards here. The back of these cards are a little bit more colorful. In my opinion, also a little bit nicer. The color is a nice difference uh, because the bronze and black kind of fades into each other. This really has a nice little pop to it. Here's what it looks like. Similar jokers and similar, similar design aspects, even though uh, they are probably different. Let's have a look, yeah. So Queen Athena, okay, so they do share, they do share the same face cards as the last deck. I don't think when you're purchasing this, you're necessarily buying the cards uh, because in my personal opinion, if the cards were nice enough to play with, I'd be conflicted because I'd wanna play with them and not keep them pristine and on a shelf. So I kinda like that they're not my favorite cards in the world because they make me not wanna play with them and keep them in the box. Does that make sense? Trident and Sword decks by Card Mafia. Bao also hooked me up with some really cool decks here that we're gonna have a look at. And these I'm pretty excited to, uh, to get my hands on. Look at this. It's a box of orange juice. It's a carton of oh, fresh lemonade, my bad. I love this idea. No artificial flavors or preservatives. You got some, you got a crossword puzzle here. Is that what it's called? Word search, I guess. The detail that went into this is, is phenomenal. I love this idea. So to open it, you would, uh, <laughs> you could open it like so. Let's try not to ruin the box here because I think the box is great. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. <laughs> have a look at one of these. Organicplayingcards.com. I'll leave the link below. Uh, these are produced by Kevin Yu, distributed by Riffle Shuffle, designed by Organic Playing Cards, one of 5,000 in partnership with Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. I love everything about this. I think it's great. A great use of marketing and a great use of, you know, creating something different with playing cards. You know, we're seeing a lot of the same. Oh, look at that. It's even got the, uh, so you've got the little hole to put the straw in. I like that. I appreciate somebody, for lack of a better term, thinking outside the box and presenting playing cards in a different way. Wow, the backs are so dope. I love these. Oh my God, these are great. All right, so we have this ad card here before we get into the cards. Alex's Lemonade Stand uh, Foundation, ALSF, emerged from the front yard lemonade stand of cancer patient Alexandra Alex Scott. Uh, in 2004, year old Alex announced that she wanted to hold a lemonade stand to raise money to help find a cure for all children cancer. And to date, Alex's Lemonade Stand has raised over 150 million toward fulfilling Alex's dreams of finding a cure. Nearly 1,000 pediatric cancer research projects nationally, in addition, provide support to families affected by childhood cancer through programs such as Travel for Care and Super Sibs. More information on ALSF, visit alexslemonade.org. Uh, very cool, very cool and selfless act. I think that's great, but let's talk about the cards for a second. Check this back out. Look at that. Simple, pretty, not over the top. The colors are right up my alley. I love the the pastel blue, ooh, they feel good. Definitely USPCC, a thicker card stock. I love the way they feel and look. Look at that. So that's the back design. You got some lemons on a blue back design. It's sunny and vibrant, uh, which also conveys the message that they're trying to send, which I think is cool. The Joker cards are identical and kind of hard to make out the J there, but you can see the J in light blue. So the colorway bleeds back into uh, the deck. Check out the Ace of Spades. So I guess it's held this way, which is upside down. Again, very cool use of the Ace there instead of, you know, normally having the Ace like this. The pips are not black. They are a dark shade of blue or maybe purple. Hard to tell on camera here, but you can tell on person there is a significant difference between uh, the reds on this deck, which are now yellow. I like that. You know what? As long as the colors are contrasting, I think that's really cool. Let's get to some of the face cards here. So the face cards are really interesting because they're all sort of either sipping on lemonade or or holding a, yeah, holding a juice carton. This guy's holding a spoon. Then we get into the rest of the core cards. This guy's got a lemon in his mouth. I really appreciate the, you know, again, they're, they're not, they're taking a spin on a classic. They're not changing it to where it's unrecognizable. Uh, they're keeping it very much in line with what we're used to seeing, except adding a little bit of fun and a little bit of flavor, I guess. Uh, you also have a duplicate five of clubs. So for uh, those of you out there looking to do magic tricks with, this uh, this is right up your alley. This is, this you can perform with. And this is something I would legit rock on a daily and show someone magic with. And it, what a great way to segue into doing a card trick for someone by saying, you know, having these out there and someone's like, what is this? And you're like, oh, it's a deck of cards that actually uh, the proceeds of this go to helping children with uh, that are dealing with cancer. 
I mean, that is such a great thing and people are gonna respond to that and that's a great way to connect with someone to bring that up and uh, help spread the word, I think. And then through that, maybe perform a magic trick. You know, they're not thinking, oh, this is a trick deck. They're thinking, oh, this is a deck uh, that provides something to a really cool charity. So really great. I love this so much. I think the idea is great. I think on a creativity scale, you guys knocked it out of the park and go to the website, which is organicplayingcards.com. Wow, okay, so they've got so many different types. They've got bananas, raspberries, uh, apples, blackberries. Now we're gonna take a look at the blackberries next, which the packaging again is super unique and we'll have a look at that in a second. They're $10 a deck, which is pretty affordable when it comes to custom playing cards. You can find them on their site, left the link below. You can check it out if you're into that. I think it's great a great cause and, and a good looking deck of cards. Love it so much actually. This is really, really great. Look at that, it reseals. So that doesn't look like I opened it at all because it has like a sticky attachment on the inside. So I could still sort of put that on my shelf. We saw this and we're like, oh, wouldn't it be great to go out and get some B-roll in a supermarket where you're taking this off the shelf. Uh, now's not the time to be uh, chilling in the supermarket with everything that's going on. So instead, I make do with what we got, you know, can't complain. We're living a good life. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty insane. These are the Snackers Blackberry flavor, one naturally and artificially flavored. <laughs> serving size, 13 cards, serving per container for vitamin A, C, and E, which spells ace, which is great. It says tear here. So without any further ado, I was warned with these uh, by Bao saying that, Whoa, my goodness. There's a smell emanating from this this pack right now. So ba ugh, that's very heavily perfumed. So Bao did warn me. I wish you guys could smell that. You know what it smells like? It smells like, you know those scratch and sniff stickers? Uh, so Bao did warn me that these would be a little wet due to the condensation of the perfume that they sprayed in here. Luckily it is plastic wrap, so we're gonna wipe that off. Be right back. He did warn me, he's like, you know, that in hindsight, they might have not packaged it that way, but with a quick wipe, <laughs> Very pungent. <laughs> However, let, let's have a look at Let's take off this plastic so we can stop. Not a fan of those artificial smells, I'll be honest, but I appreciate the effort. Once again, these are snackers. Okay, they don't smell anymore. No, not so much. We got the tear here symbol on top, which is clever. Oh, we have a barcode, or sorry, a uh, QR code. Oh, it brings you to their website, which is really cool. Snackers. That is the tuck case. Let's have a look at the playing cards. Wow, the jokers are, are really clean. So again, they have their own branding, their own, obviously, as you can tell from both decks, uh, they follow a similar branding etiquette, which is very simple, but also using bold colors. So here on the back design, let's have a look at that first. Blackberries, very muted. Uh, light mauve or light uh, violet colors here. Cards again feel great. As you can see the core cards, they follow a similar trend, this time different ways, I guess, to consume blackberries throughout the yogurt. Uh, here we got the queen of spades having a muffin. We got the king of spades just eating them right out of the pack. Just super, super pretty design. Here we have the five of spades this time. Uh, we also have an extra blank card. Those are my two favorite uh, gimmicks to receive with the deck is a blank card and a duplicate because that's usually what I use to either perform voodoo or to just, you know, uh, do anything. You can also Omni deck, which I need a blank card for. So I appreciate that. That's something that I'll definitely rock with me. And the colors here, as you can see, go from black this time, black and, and purple, to uh, to this light pink. They have a whole uh, assortment of different flavors and varieties of, of fruits and, and that type of thing. Uh, available on their website, you can check them out. Guys, I, I think, believe that is all for me today. I think that's enough. So day one of Quarantined with Ramsey. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comment below, which of these decks was your favorite uh, in terms of whether it's the Titan and Sword with that elegant, crazy packaging or whether it's the simplicity of one of the fruit decks here uh whether it's the or uh, the lemonade or the uh or the snackers the the stinky the stinky blackberries <laughs> anyways guys thanks for watching i appreciate you guys so much i am uh, fortunate enough to be able to work from home alone uh i know many of you are probably sent home from work or or i don't know what the situation is but you have my sympathy and, and I hope that uh, we all get through this together. Stay away from large groups uh, as not to spread this thing and, uh, and, and, and good luck. Hopefully, hopefully we all come out of this stronger. So guys, thanks, uh, like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace.